On today's episode, we're going to be picking up a case tractor. Uh, my first ever tractor that I've ever bought before in my life um, with my own money. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's, a, it's a big step for me because, you know, whenever you're getting into like custom bailing and stuff like that, it's kind of, it get, it's, it's pricey getting into farming and whatever. And for me getting into just, just doing hay is pretty insane and it's not cheap at all. Uh, hay equipment's going up like crazy. Um, yeah, I don't even know. So I found this tractor on Marketplace, of course, and the guy was wanting 9,000 for it. And I was like, there's no way this is real, okay? Like this tractor at least ought to be going for like 15, 16,000 um, dollars. Has like 6,000 hours on it, literally nothing. Clean as ever. It's got a few spots on it, you know, obviously with some surface rust and it's got a couple brackets that are broke and you know, a guy could fix them, you know, weld them up. And so there's nothing major, nothing at all, nothing mechanical at all wrong with it. Um, I drove it the other day. It's got the four speed um, power shift in it. Um, it's, it's pretty legit. So um, yeah, currently just waiting here, waiting on Ryan. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, catch you guys later. My words, I'm just gonna have to buy my own trailer and truck because I, I just honestly can't rely on Ryan to be anywhere on time unless I go there to wake him up. All right, so called Ryan. I got very impatient and uh, it was actually good timing because he was getting the trailer hooked up. Um, now uh, we're gonna be at the mall here because we got a big parking lot. I'm gonna grab my check and then I'm gonna run to the bank while he goes to the bank. And yeah, so my dad's not going and it freaking pisses me off. You know, we were supposed to leave at like literally like 10 o'clock told the guy we leave at 10 o'clock in the morning and it is now 11 30 and ryan is just now showing up i just have to go to the bank and cash my check and then go to my house so i can drop my car off well after uh many hours of waiting on ryan following on the road and we got uh sixty. $8,500 right here. Can you believe that? And it's all gonna be gone in a blink of an eye. All right, we finally made it. We got 40 mile an hour winds. It's currently starting to sleet a little bit. We're about to load up the duels right now, so here we go. Well, here she sits, boys. Got parts of the duels here in the lugs. And gotta get her going. Try out here. All right, well, Ryan is uh, gonna put this can on the exhaust so we don't spin the turbo gun down the road. Got the dualies on there. Man, it is windy. This is gonna. Yeah, it's starting to, whoa, temperature's dropping pretty good. I'm gonna get the binders out and get this sucker binded up, but, bud, the rig. Well, she's loaded. Strap down, chain down, bind it down. Okay. Head south, I reckon. Woo! Man, who you think about some McDonald's, Ryan? Sounds uh, fairly decent right now. I'll buy you lunch. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's cold, dude. Woo! Dang, all right. Well, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna get something to eat, I guess. So, currently in Wendy's drive through well, not drive through but we're in the parking lot of Wendy's. Uh, we changed our mind. We didn't want McDonald's because it's not it. We had Wendy's, so we're gonna get Wendy's. Yep. So, we're letting everyone know what's going on. Yeah, Ryan's tightening her down again. That's the third time we've tightened her down on the way home. Yeah, we ain't even drove 20 minutes down the road yet. She's golden, son. If anyone's got a front end loader for that thing, let me know. All right, people, so we made her to uh, town. There's my, there's my keys right there. Need that, and I need this. All right. Made her back to the Vern. And uh, up here at Dole Rule King, 
Um, I'm gonna get my car. I met Ryan in town earlier, remember? So now we're gonna go back to the, the old homestead, but get her off the trailer. Yep. All right, well, looks like I beat Ryan, of course. I took the lead, had to get out of there. But anyway, also plug Northern and chill because you know, you gets to hydrate in these, these tough, tough conditions of spending money. So I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but I bought two fuel tanks. Got that one and this one here. I uh, bought them for 200 bucks for the for the pair, so 100 each. Um, most fuel tanks, you know, they go for like a dollar a gallon. So those should have went for about 300 bucks. This one's not in like it's, I wouldn't the stand. I'm not a fan of the stand the way it's built. It's just kind of weak. This one's more. This one's got angle iron on it. And uh, it's just, it's built a lot better. But my plan with um, this one, since it's a lot nicer, I'm gonna put it up right there on the outside of the barn where the, this other uh, transport tank is. I'm gonna put it, kind of how this one's set up, but I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And um, it's gonna have, uh, I'm thinking like a creamy, um, like a creamy color um, for the tank. And then um, just international logos. Like, I don't know, I might do like just a, an actual whole red, um, like a whole red tank and then put like the black, like the 5000 series international logo on the side and then put like IH on the front. I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking and then just do a black stand. So I think I'm doing red and black, but don't know what we're doing with it yet. All right. Well, it looks like Ryan made it. He's having difficulties backing in, looks like. Look at that rig. Nice dent. You bet, chum ins. <laughs> my freaking gloves. I went two hours away without my gloves. I about froze myself off. And you don't, I don't like working without gloves. I'm gonna pinch my freaking fingers in the chains. Yeah, good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Go, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Keep backing it up, Ryan. Oh, yeah, get in the ditch, Ryan. Yep, good job, Ryan. Go, Ryan. Go, go, go. Oh, all right, well, she's unchained. Ramps are down. Well, I guess we're gonna get her off the trailer. The duels are what's gonna be fun because I don't have a front end loader or anything here, so those are gonna be really fun. All right, guys, got her unloaded, got the tires unloaded. We're gonna head around into the house tonight, and then tomorrow in the daylight, we'll uh, jump over some stuff that needs fixing on it. What's up, guys? So it's the next day, and uh, currently about 40, 42 degrees. Uh, really beautiful day for January. We've had a really good winter. We had one cold spell of the negative 45 wind chills, but we're good now. We got Briggs boy out running around today, so he doesn't freeze up, freezes you know what off. Briggs boy, come here, come here, come here. Say hi to you two, Briggs. He's shy. Anyway, so I'm gonna go around the tractor and show you what's all wrong with it, and uh, see what you think. So I guess we'll just get into the duels. So this sucker actually cracked. You can see this is where they they welded it and stuff, and this got cracked and whatever and uh they welded the spacer into the yeah brakes they did that uh they welded the spacer into this rim 
But anyway, I'm not gonna be using these anyway, but they got, they're pretty chewed up with bean stubble. Like, pretty bad, but not bad, not terrible, you know, if I needed to use them, I could, but just not going to. For cutting hay, you don't need them. So anyway, um, the real tires aren't bad in the front. They could use some in the back though. These are those Alliance tires, man, and they just look like they got cut weird. I don't know, they got another little bit on them, but hopefully they get by, get me by with what I need. What, Briggs? What? What do you want? What? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, the only thing I've heard, the main thing I've heard on these tractors is um, they don't have, like, a water filtration system on it, and on our 1486... Um, we have like just like a bowl and we can unscrew it and all the water will come out and all that good stuff. And it just filters from it coming back and start recirculating rusty, nasty stuff into your block and it'll seize your engine. So that's what happened to my dad's buddy's uh, 2290. No, they had a 2590, I think. But anyway, that's what happened to his tractor. And um, we're going to pop it real quick. But... Is this what? Oh, there we go. This way. It's really nice that you do that one-handed. But anyway, it does have an exhaust leak, which you saw in the video. Um, yeah, that's really about it on this side. It needs just needs a some kind of exhaust gasket, but it ain't terrible. It's be fine. Uh, come around this side. Got us a set of weights. Um, this thing, I, lit, I lit this thing up the other night whenever I got it home, and the cubes and the front headlights and the top lights, it was pretty, pretty bright, to be honest, but I don't, like I said, I'm going to be mowing hay at night, so. But anyway, on this side, it uh, looks like you got a new alternator, newer one. Um, we saw this ratchet strap, we're like, what is going on with that? And so, um, what happened was, you can see that bracket for the power steering or the, it was the, the compressor pump is what it is, my bad. The bushing goes out in here, and you can kind of see in there. Um, but it watered out, and they put the strap on there to keep it from, you know, flopping to keep the belt on. And then we looked at it, and it was ended up being broken. But I'm pretty sure a guy can buy a new bracket. Um, maybe not. I'm not too sure. But a guy can weld that, though. It's not a big deal. So... That's what's wrong on this side. I bought a parts manual for the tractor, so he said that the coolant gauge inside doesn't work, and uh, just got a bunch of wires hanging down right here. I'm gonna be getting some something new here and wrapping up these wires in, and then reattaching it to the block there. But that's about really all that's wrong with it on this side. So what I do. What I do like about this tractor is it's got, you can open the hood from both sides. So that's pretty cool. But, for, you know, for it being 40 some odd years old, it ain't a bad looking tractor, you know. Pretty good, pretty well taken care of. It's got a lot of road oil on it and stuff, but, eh, she'll buff. Um, this is like a PT, or this right here was a, a PTO sensor of some sort. Not too sure exactly what it was, but the guy who was using the tractor last year to bale hay, ended up breaking that off. So I gotta buy a new one of them. Um, this tractor comes with two remotes, um, but he's wired in a third one. I'm pretty sure is, is that's how that went. Pretty sure. Maybe it came with four remotes. I guess it did come with four. I don't know, but he's got one wired in, so we'll go in the cab and show you what's up. Also, what I really like about this tractor is that the door locks in up there. It's awesome. Our 1486, you just freaking you flap it open and it comes back and hits you when you're coming in the cab. But anyway, first thing you see is this right here when you walk in. It does need a cab kit, but not a big deal because I'm just freaking, it's a working man's tractor. It's got an air ride seat in it with a, you know, a rigged up pump. I got to hardwire that in somehow. But got me a set of cup holders right here. Can't ever go wrong with cup holders. I had one of these in my pickup, my, my Cummins. But yeah, that's, that, that's really nice. Um, anyway, here is the remote. Let's see, this this one and this one are my main two. You press this button down to work your third one. So, 
it did come, it did have it has an option for four remotes but i guess he just didn't wire hook them up i guess i don't know so now we're doing a i've never seen that before it's probably a probably common or something i don't know but uh the radio does work and i was like that's a necessity and then um the only thing about the blower is literally just the switch i'm pretty sure but it stays on high at all times so yeah pretty cool got an ether button got my turn signals um yeah i don't know he did say the water temp gauge like i said earlier does not work so yeah but anyway all around pretty good tractor uh i'm a fan of it it's my first tractor that i've ever bought in. but you know for a 43 year old tractor you're gonna have issues um but i can't complain i mean i saved up my money for everything that i have and here we are, bought my first tractor. Um, yeah, lots of memories to be made. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the 2290 um, from other people that don't even know who I am, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. I can get back to you, make a video, or do something. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, talk to you later.